Our next guest is very much a friend of the program and is the author of a great new book. It's called The Capitalist Comeback, The Trump Boom and the Left's Plot to Stop It. Andy Posner <laughs> is with us. Andy, welcome back. Good to see you. Yeah, good to be here, Stuart. Thank you very much. What is the left's plan to stop and interrupt and force back the Trump boom? Well, you've really ne we've never had a president who's been subjected to such a concerted effort by the left and the media to discredit everything he's accomplished economically. And one, one of the, the reason I wrote the book, one big reason, was to give Trump supporters the ammunition they need to fight back, number one, and to share the incredible economic accomplishments of, of, uh, of this administration. And, you know, the, the opposition has changed. I mean, the resistance, this isn't the, the party of John Kennedy anymore, who was, you know, was a capitalist. This is now the Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren party. They bought into socialism, particularly young people. Yep. So what the idea with the book is, look, if you've got kids or grandkids and you want to show them how free enterprise works and why it works and the incredible accomplishment, oh, I can't believe, you should buy the book, but I can't believe how fast this economy has recovered. We were, I was on your show probably last spring. And I said, you know, there's these, all these great things are happening with Trump. But I said, I don't, really don't have time to list them. And you said, well, Andy, it's a three-hour show. So I, <laughs> <laughs> so I went through and listed some more. But I, all, that really was kind of the genesis of the book, is to, okay. people need to defend this guy. Now, what about that Bernie Sanders is about to come out with a plan where he would guarantee a government job to anybody who wants or needs one, those are his words, and it would pay $15 an hour and it would have benefits. That's his plan. That's his, going to be his plan. Is that his way of stopping the Trump boom? Because it would surely, it wouldn't help the economy, would it? No, destroy the economy. This is Venezuela. And you, know, you remember Bernie Sanders said back in 2011, if you want to find the American dream, you know, you got to look at a country like Venezuela, and then he said, where's the did, banana republic now? Did he say that? Exactly that. I think he included Argentina, too. But he said Venezuela. You know, now there's people that are starving in the streets. They're eating garbage. There's, they, they've got a big problem with people leaving Venezuela. It's like, it's like the Syria of South America. Everybody's leaving. Well, it's utterly corrupt. That's it's utterly corrupt, mm. and it's utterly socialist. Like the president said, the problem in Venezuela isn't that socialism was poorly applied, it's that it was well applied. <laughs> and and this, uh, again, I covered this in the book. I hope people will, I hope they'll give it to their kids and grandkids because we're really losing a generation to this, to the education system and to the, enter, to the entertainment industry really convincing our kids that socialism works. It doesn't. Capitalism's amazing. I just feel like such an old guy grumbling about these, no, these youngsters, you know, they don't appreciate what socialism's all about. I feel so old <laughs> that's, when that's I say it, that's but it's our, real. Our, well, that's because our parents did the same thing in the 60s, and they turned out to be right. Some of us smartened <laughs> up. I mean, we really, yes, we really, we we really yes. need to tell... We really need to tell kids what the benefits of free market capitalism are, how it's lifted GDP per person across the globe. It's eliminated poverty. It's been the most dynamic economic system for improving people's lives in the history of the world. Look, the Trump boom is not done. Oh, it's Only not done at all. About a year into it, where's it going? Tell me that. Well, let, let, let's talk for just one second. I want to talk about where it's gone already. When I was on your show for the past eight years, what we talked about was nobody could find jobs. Right? right. The, the problem was you couldn't find good paying jobs during the Obama administration. People working part time. They're working in restaurants trying to support families. It just didn't work. The National Federation of Independent Business Survey came out and the biggest problem facing businesses today is finding qualified employees. And you, you look at the, the un, number of people on unemployment at a 44 year low, even though the population's way up. We've got over 6 million jobs. That's historically high number of job openings, despite the fact that we have a historically high number of people employed. We've gone from an economy, and th this tells the story. We've gone from an economy where workers couldn't find good paying jobs to an economy where employers can't find workers to fill good paying jobs. I mean, capitalism worked in like 16 months. We've turned it around. That's the capitalist so, comeback. As, as a man who was nominated to be Labor Secretary, I want to talk to you about the man who was nominated to be Secretary of State, Mike yes. Pompeo. He did finally clear this Foreign Relations Committee, but I think the behavior of the Democrats in voting no on the man, almost all of them did, I think that's a disgrace. It What's is a disgrace. Comment? It's a disgrace and it's part of the plot. The, look, the big, yeah, the big fear for progressives and socialists, in other words, for Democrats, because they've been taken over by progressives and socialists, is that Donald Trump will succeed. If Donald Trump succeeds, it's going to be like Ronald Reagan. It'll take him 28 years before they can effectively elect somebody who can rule as a progressive. They know that if the, after the Obama administrations, 
terrible failure, 2.1% GDP, terrible failure on the economy. If we bring in a capitalist, free market president and the economy booms again, as it did in the 80s, they're in trouble. So they will do everything they can to stop this president. They aren't approving people uh, for various positions in the government, positions that are, are far less high profile than, uh, than uh, Mike Pompeo, who was overly qualified to be Secretary of State, the perfect guy. And this is absolutely deliberate. Absolutely Don't deliberate. anybody if you can possibly avoid it. Well, Tim, Tim Kaine voted to approve him for head of the CIA. How all of a, how all of a sudden now can't he yeah. be Secretary of State? I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Hmm. I mean, these people will do everything they can. They are shrill, they're obnoxious, they're loud. You can hear them on TV. They, you mentioned Donald Trump or his success, and they go nuts. And that, those are the people that are guiding the Democratic Party. What I'm coming away with is that uh, we ain't seen nothing yet. From you this ain't seen nothing boom. yet. This boom I is like good. It, it, again, I hope you, people you read the book. think we're going to get 4% growth? Yes. Will we get 4% growth? I think in, we in will. A, a full calendar year, 4%? Yes. But That's let me, huge. Let me tell you, when, when the Trump boom started, when we started talking about this stuff, uh, Trump, uh, Jason Furman came out and said, 10 years of 2% GDP growth. The problem is you can't do what Trump says. It's systemic. That was the problem with Obama. Really, we didn't fail. It was everything changed. And then, and then uh, Larry Summers comes, comes out and says, believing Trump's prediction of 3% GDP growth is like believing in tooth fairies. Well, guess what? For the first three quarters of this year, we averaged 3.1%, and CBO is projecting 3.3% for this year. So 3% was something they, they, you know, it's like believing in tooth fairies. Well, I guess now we all need to believe in tooth fairies. I'm glad you brought me a free copy of the it's book. It's yours. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> now, would you autograph it, please? I absolutely well, will. I'm, Andy, it was a pleasure having you on the show.